Scoot Henderson, the 18-year-old from Georgia who bypassed college and moved across the country with his family to become a pro in the G League. As one of the world's top prospects, it's all eyes on him, all the time. I remember the feeling. Every player dreams of being the first pick in the NBA draft. This season, two players are at the top of the conversation, and it seems like the whole basketball world is talking about it. But there can only be one number one pick. I'm gonna try to lead my team to the win. If that changed the, the scout's mind, then so be it. You know, I'm not gonna draft myself. You know, I'm gonna just control what I can control. We did some uh, team scouting, you know, just watching film. He's very linky. You know, he can, he can really score around the basket, and he you know he has a spread it out game. So he's a pretty good player. I mean, it feels good to play against you know top talent. Hopefully, everybody watching. You know, that's how I look at it. Yeah, obviously. I mean, even in terms of uh, recognition, you know, worldwide, this is, I think, yeah, this has got to be the biggest game I've played in my life. Uh, I've been following him since, like, I'd say one or two years. If I, w <laughs> if I was never born, I think he would deserve the, the first spot. <laughs> On behalf of the NBA and the NBA G League, you know, I want to welcome officially welcome the Metropolitan 92 to the U.S., to Nevada, and thank them for accepting the invitation to come and uh, play these games. Uh, especially <laughs> we're, we're more familiar a lot of times than we understand just through our love and appreciation of, of basketball. We are proud to be to be the team that comes to, to play and uh, we are very happy to get this opportunity and we will try to, to give you a good, uh, a good game to, tomorrow. So much excitement, and again, when you have the opportunity to see, you know, not just one, but possibly two generational talents on the same floor at this stage, it's an exciting time. Every game is a big game for me, especially this season, and hopefully the long journey that I have with basketball, but you know, I tune it out, and I focus on me and my team. appreciative of life and my family and my peers and being here on this court and being able to play basketball. Like, it's time. This is what I've been working for. Venture 92 wins the tip. Can you imagine the nerves that are going through them to start this game? G League Ignite coming out here in the home white. This is their new arena. They have moved here to Henderson, Nevada. Henderson. And that's where Scoot has put in the work over the summer. On that jump shot, you see he's excited about knocking down the first one. Wembe, oh, 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 this kid is good. Oh, oh, punch out of here. Wemba Nyama says no, no, no. Not just any other game. No, it's not. And again, to try to say that it is, we wouldn't believe any of the players anyway. And I'm very family oriented, so I feel like seeing them in the crowd just boosts my confidence. And you know, they they gonna be up, so I'm gonna be up with them. Henderson had a couple moments where 
he was going one on one against Wembanyama, and he got the better of that matchup. Take a look at the first half stats. You see the big lead for G League Ignite, eight of eight. And there were a few doubters out there. I mean, there's been a lot of hype around this game. The talk of almost 200 NBA scouts and executives on hand getting credentials. <laughs> the hype is real. Wembanyama. Oh, oh my uh -oh. goodness. Uh -oh. I think he's feeling it right now. Trying to get the move. Step back. Whoa. <laughs> he's 7 4. He's not supposed to be able to do that. Metro 92, only down by five. Anderson trying to set up his man now. With the blow by. Oh, Wembanyama rejected at the rim. Never looking back to the last play. I always look forward to my next play. Like, even if I make a mistake, you know, I'm going to make sure that everybody else is good. That's what's most important to me right now. And I feel like that's where I've grown the most. They always try to, you know, compare, contrast, whoever. I don't look at it as that. You know, I look at it as two good ball players. You know, as long as I'm, I'm here, doing what I'm, doing what I got to do, doing what I'm destined to do, and I feel like the outcome is going to be great. difference with Scooter's learning, he's learning how to control tempo, he's learning how to control flow, he's knowing when and when not to, he's learning how to conserve energy, so he has way more responsibility, and that's the beauty of him, he's growing, he has a fierce competitive spirit, and he willed us to that victory, and so that's the beauty of watching him play, watching him grow every day, um, he's just going to get better and better and better, and I have to remind myself, he's only 18. Both stars put out their best tonight. Victor Wembanyama in the loss had 37 points. Scoot Henderson in the win had 28. Yeah, he's tough to guard, just what I expected. Every time the ball is in his hands, it's like, it's even something you feel on the court. Yeah, I was uh, surprised in a good way. He's a great player. Yeah. Has it kind of sunk in, like, this is kind of something you look back at, like, it's pretty cool? I mean, it's pretty cool right now. I get to play basketball. You know, it's, it's a gift. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Next time on The Break. When you get offered multiple millions of dollars to you know, go overseas, it'd be pretty crazy to turn down. But I really, truly believe it's going to happen.